I hear there's like some new band called Nirvana just starting up and they're like really big on in Seattle and I have a feeling they're going to be huge. It looks good. Nineteen ninety three was like a really that's when we started um, kind of making money, you know, and you could count on a show being pretty well attended. We were getting more popular. We get a call uh, about going on tour with Nirvana. I was taking care of Kurt and Courtney's kid, and Jawbreaker was one of my favorite bands. And they, being much older than me, they were like whatever, like five years older than me, or he was, would always like check out the my new records. And Jawbreaker was one of the ones that stuck with him. It was a no, you know, it was a no-brainer. In fact, we're of course. Nirvana, Mud, Honey, and Us. It was like this. It was just like, wow, you know, weird. Uh, the art on the side of that one, like airbrushed, uh, you know, boom. The shit, yeah, it was piece like, of shit. We, the loading dock was taller than our van. Yeah. <laughs> Out how to put the you could walk on top of a... <laughs> We'd play like 25 minutes every night, and I, I think we all agree we were playing like everything triple time because we were so stressed. And that, that started off a little bit of, of um, a backlash. Right. That, there were some people that were like, oh man, I, know, I could see it. You know, the writing mm -hmm. is on the wall. They go mm -hmm. out with Nirvana and some A&R dick is going to see him and be like, oh, dude, what, you know. Right. And, you know, of course, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> that's true. Um, I remember people being really disappointed that we were going out on tour with Nirvana. It's like, are you kidding? Like, <laughs> we got to watch Nirvana from the side of the stage every day for a week. Like, what'd you do that week? I mean, certain people stopped talking to us, so like uh, Radley. The punk underground was, a, it was DIY, and it was no major label. And uh, Nirvana was, of course, major label, and they were playing big stadiums and stuff. And it was a sign that they were going to sign to a major label, and they were going to sell everybody out. And it, it hadn't occurred to me that that's corporate. A sign of uh, heresy, really. Once they went there, then they weren't really uh, uh, welcomed at, uh, like, Gilman Street. I was shocked that someone thought we could be unmade by doing that, you know, by getting in bed with the devil, I guess. And we didn't think Nirvana was the devil. Now.